FPR, MLG, Shattered Temple. We got uh, we got a pause actually. <laughs> Turning on hacks. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So at least he's honest. That is true. Zerg versus Zerg. Okay, so here we go. Zinger just resumed the game. So we got Zinger XPN spawning as the Green Zerg for University of Maryland, Baltimore County here in game two of the CSL. And then spawning as the Red Zerg, we got Tuna. We'll just call him Tuna for Towson University spawning at the six o'clock position, about, I guess. Um, UMBC did win game one. This is game two. I don't know if these players know each other. They do both have the XPN at the end of their names. So, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Got both overlords heading here. Doing a little high five. I Having a like cup of coffee and the, then parting that ways. That seems to be the, uh, <laughs> the theme of the day today. <laughs> Scouts high five -ing. Yeah, definitely. Have a nice cup of coffee together. Go their separate ways. Don't call each other back. Sounds like my Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> Will he go for the double date here? Looks like he's gonna try to with Silph. They connect, and they do, but then they oh. go their separate ways again. Sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no pool yet. Uh, Zinger is going gas first, as well as Tuna here. Tuna a little bit behind on the timing of that gas. So it looks like another possibly early expand oh no wait it looks like Zinger is pool. putting his pool down as well as uh, Tuna there yeah, yeah. typical 14 pool yep both have their overlords both have perfect vision of each other's bases here both know what every everything the other one is doing you've ever seen in the beginning as any race in the beginning is very very boring that pool going down though we'll see if any of either of them decide to um, spawn off some early zerglings here to try and do a little bit of damage maybe uh, try and harass enough to uh, to not make the other expand when they want to looks like speed is being researched for zinger as well though tuna not researching that speed maybe going for a little bit earlier um, Expansion. Both getting their queens out. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. They're, they both have the exact same build at the moment. Yep, this is the definition of mirror matchups. Although it looks like Zinger, as far as the build time go, is a little bit uh, ahead, and it looks like Tuna's going for a Baneling Nest now. So this might be where they split up. We'll have to see if Zinger decides to put down that Baneling Nest, and of yep, course he goes. does. <laughs> These wow. zerglings are going to meet each other in the middle. Tuna pulling out ahead. Both are going to... seems to be a little bit further behind on the Baneling Nest, so... We're definitely going to be... Oh, and there goes down a second expansion by Zinger at the moment. That's going to put him ahead in the economy, for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Tuna does not see that, um... Does not see that expansion there either. So we'll have to see if he decides to expand or continue with this uh, early aggression. And it looks like he will. He is making a bunch more zerglings. Although this drone is heading out there, and there, there goes, goes the expansion. The second expansion. Bailing nest just finished for uh, Zinger, so a little bit behind on that, but he will get the oh, economic lead. Zinger, another pause. Trying to get into the into the mind of Tuna. Claiming that it's lag, maybe it's the hacks that he loaded. That's what I'm attributing it to. You ask me. So we will just wait. He only has one pause remaining. Don't know I if that's. He, he's just gonna pray. <laughs> well, we'll see how that does. That uh, that does that does for him. I guess uh, by the end of this game, we will know if there's a god. We will Seems know. Seems a bit dramatic, but uh, possibly. <laughs> Looks like this Zergling's gonna die. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe not. Nope. Oh, I <laughs> get sideswiped. 
Looks like we got Banelings morphing here for Tuna. Going to be doing some early aggression. Those Banelings are going to be doing some huge or decent damage at least. Although Zinger does have some Banelings here as well. Although not as many Lings here. More Banelings are forming. Zinger might have scouted that push. He did, but Zinger's heading off to the other side with one Ling. Banelings are chasing Banelings. Queen Doing a little dance. Down. One Banelings goes down, although he took one Zergling with him. Looks like a Roach Warren's going down for Zinger as well here. Or, whoa, that's the Baneling Nest. Roach Warren is somewhere. There it is. Looks like Tuna's moving up here. Got a good amount of Banelings. More than Tuna, or Zinger, Zinger sorry. No drones oh. at the second base there oh. to attack. Oh. They're they are stuck. Oh! oh. Banelings attacking Banelings. Both Banelings get down. More Banelings are morphing in by Zinger here. Although Tuna just has way too many Zerglings. Gonna be doing some huge damage. Gonna try and get past these two Queens. Doesn't know where to go. Looks like he's attacking those Queens. Gonna get one Queen down. Oh, no. One Queen goes down. One down. Oof. Two Zerglings Man. left. Another Roach Warren's being put, or no, Roach Warren's being placed down by Tuna. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you can't morph those into Bane Links, not in there, <laughs> not inside his base. So, wow, there are no drones where Zinger's base to attack. Um, that, I think that still went well for Tuna, because even if there were no drones, Zinger still lost a massive amount of droning time, and that means that Tuna might, uh, should be ahead a little bit economically. But Tuna has no units at the moment. He only has two Zerglings and two Queens to defend himself against all these Zerglings and Banelings. That is very true. I think Tuna put way too much into that. This might be game here. There's just way too many Zerglings to deal with. Queen's gonna go down. Easy. More Zerglings are being uh, made here from Tuna, but there's just too many right now from Zinger. Drones go down. Zerglings fighting Zerglings. Another Queen is out. Looks like Tuna was able to fight off this attack, is pushing Zinger back here. Oh, he needs here. to pull those Zerglings back. That is... There they go. So that good. was... Both players took good hit, or was damaged from either's attack here. So it looks like both players will be at the same part, at the same, uh... At the same, uh... The same stage Playing right food. now. Mm. Both have the same amount of food right now. So both players took hits. Both players are coming back. Ro two roaches coming out for both teams. Zinger. Oh, another little altercation. Oh my goodness, he's just letting him scoot by like that. Not defending Queen his base well enough. Down. Oh, maybe not. Looks like those Zerglings went from a good group of Zerglings to a very small group, although still doing massive amount of damage. Gonna force the rest of these drones to die. Roaches coming out for Zinger, or coming out for Tuna. We're gonna be able to help defend off this Zergling push again. So what a both, game! Definitely Singer a lot is of harassment going on. Zero units right now. He's making zero anything at right now. That is interesting. Yeah, he did did uh get a little sidetrack I think from those pushes, but he looks like he is his production is starting up again, and we got some attack Ooh. level one coming out for tuna. Some upgrades. That means the roaches are going to be taking over. Yes, and it looks like he's morphing his. Uh, hatchery into a layer here, so we should be able to. It's probably going to be seeing some air units coming out pretty shortly. Maybe not, maybe some infestors. Tuna has some Zerglings out in the middle of the map. We have some defensive spine crawlers going down by Tuna. Very smart idea. Oh, yeah, definitely, especially since uh, Zerg Zinger has been doing some pretty nasty Ling attacks, so that's going to be able to help against those Zerglings and possibly Roaches if this decide if uh, Zinger decides to push out here. Although it looks like Zinger does not have many drones on that second base here. If we go to the units tab, Zinger only has 18 drones to 29 drones. Well, um, he but he does have, have 17 roaches. That's yes, a lot he does. Of roaches. He does, that but he has no lots of roaches. It's actually very close, I think. Well, we got 17 roaches from Zinger, five banelings, whereas Tuna has 16 lings, seven roaches, and two banelings. So I think it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Although Tuna will have the economic advantage here since he does have more drones, although it looks like Zinger's getting ready for a huge roach push here. This might do some damage here. Thank God for those spine crawlers. Oh yes, definitely. Those spine crawlers are going to be able to take some of the damage as well as give some of the damage. 
Looks like Zinger's gonna push back a little bit, waiting for some of his lings to come out to deal with those spine crawlers. Going in with the attack, Queen's joining in with it. Spine crawler spine goes down. down. Another spine, spine crawler goes down. down. Roach against Roach. Very close so far. Don't know if we can call it though. It looks like Tuna is able to force Zinger to push back here. Especially now that his missile attack is almost just completed, he will be able to take this whole handedly easily. If he oop, roach down. Caught an extra roach there. Although I think Tuna should should go back while he's ahead here. He is ahead in food. Although oh, there are a bunch of speedlings out and that's and you not Don't want to go on that creep. Looks like the roaches are going to get cut off by those zerglings, doing huge damage. Not able oh, to get, got down a couple roaches actually. Oh, geez, the Banelings didn't move. Although, I think with that, I think Tuna did some good micro there and was able to defend against those zerglings. And might be able to push, get a bunch more roaches here. Tuna just way ahead in supply right now. I'm feeling pretty good here. Feeling pretty 20 good. 20 roaches to 10, that looks like a pretty good uh, advantage at the moment. Oh yeah, but definitely. There goes Tuna's the micro was just oh, awesome. Banelings didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, very good micro. Macro. No, micro. <laughs> Queen's gonna go down. Nice concave here. And there's the GG Tuna taking game two. That is a... Tuna!